No. <laughs> okay. We're live, just so you know. It's okay. <laughs> um, I did not. I got one done. Oh, hang on. Hang on, Janet. I just got to turn the sound. Oof, I'm to turn that sound off. I don't need to hear me. And then I'm going to spotlight you. Oh, lovely. Nice. For some oh, that's time, pretty. The, um, well, may, things are delayed. I don't know why. Maybe are not. delayed on what? Maybe they caught up now. Oh, I don't know. I was delayed, but now I've caught up maybe. <laughs> but I got number car, card number one done. Nice. That's pretty. It is. So I was I was challenged to do a Christmas card with Forever Fern last night. Wow. So that's what I was working on. I saw the peak of it. <laughs> just a peak. Hey, June and Connie. Oh, yes, just a peak. There was just a peak. OK, let me get this here and I'll get this spotlit so everybody can see my hands. Hello, Sharon. Okay, I think I think I've got it all organized here. Holy man, sometimes this takes more time to do the technical stuff than it does to make a card. <laughs> Except on Friday night when you guys make me take two hours to do a card. <laughs> this is all your fault. <laughs> okay, so I received a card in the mail today. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. That is pretty from my friend Diane who pops in every once in a while. Just a thank you card. I love it. I love receiving mail. I got one. Actually, it's really funny because I got this card in the mail. So it's from it's from um, Dale Hampshire, who is the head of the Canadian um, demonstrators. And in it, there's this little note that says because I don't they're sending it to me because I don't have an upline and just saying that um, they want to recognize me for all my recent hard work and then I had to laugh because I actually got two of them <laughs> <laughs> so apparently I was really hard working and deserved two cards exactly the same <laughs> with exactly the same filler thinger in so I'm wondering <laughs> who didn't get one because I ended up with two of them. Hey, Shannon. Must have been extra special. Oh, yes. <laughs> Either that or they want to shut me up. One or the other. <laughs> oh, I okay. The first one. <laughs> I'll take. Uh, yeah, I think. I think yours is a good one. So here's the card from last night. Well, oops. Wait, I got to take this one out. I don't want to show the Christmas one yet. I have two of them because there was the sample and then one I made. And I did a draw. And do you want me to tell you who won or do you want me want it to be a surprise to whoever receives them? I think it's nice yeah. to get surprises. I like doing surprises. So people over there in Facebook land, what do you think? Do you think I should tell you who... Because I drew for two, so I'm going to mail both of them out. Shall I tell you who? Or Jean says, tell us. <laughs> so I got one for telling and one for not telling. Oh, look at the blueberry stains on my fingers. Oh, dear. Were they get those washed very good. Surprise. Hey, we got a surprise from Harmon and we got a tell us from Connie. So we're still two for two. Oh, <laughs> Can we vote twice? <laughs> Sharon says tell. I might. I might not. We'll see how the evening goes. If you if you tire me out, I'm not going to tell. <laughs> Two people will get them in the mail. They'll go in the mail on Monday. I'll put my note over there. So are you are you ready to see the Christmas card I came up with? Yes. Here's the envelope. 
40? I was told, Cherry Cobbler, let me get my note here. Forever Fern Christmas card, Cherry Cobbler Puffs, Shaded Spruce and Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent and Holiday Rhinestones. Well, okay. Jean says, otherwise we won't ever know. So the ones that get them, when you receive the card, and I'm not going to say how long because that'll indicate whether it's local or not. When you get your card, make sure you come on to one of my Facebook Lives and let me know or let us know you received it. And then when I have both of the confirmations, then I will share it during a Friday night collaboration, just so everybody knows. I just want to do a surprise. I like sending surprises. Does that work, Jean? I'm going to refresh my memory who it was. Ah, ha, ha. I know who it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here comes the card. You ready? Ooh, oh, wow. Now, can you get the bling? Because, you know, winky happened. There you go. Wow. Nice. So there's Winky on this, and there's Winky on the red puffs that are like berries, I was told. And red holiday rhinestones. The only thing I didn't use was shaded spruce because it just, it didn't look good with the two. I used evening evergreen and soft succulent. So there you go. The suspense will kill some of you. Yes, Jean, yes. it will. <laughs> but the, person, the people that get them are going to be pleasantly surprised. That's right. And there's the inside. Wonderful. I was going to, I was going to um, do masking, but it was like 12 o'clock at night, and I didn't want to trust my um, cutting out skills to make the mask. Thanks, everyone. It's beautiful. Yes, Jean, you did tell me it could be a Christmas card, and it's a stunning Christmas card. I love it. So I haven't done a recipe for it because, you know, I just did it off the top of my head. I sat here and I punched out, a, I took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper of basic white, and I stamped rows of things. And then I used what I wanted on it. It was really quite freeing. I think it's pretty. Anyways, there it is. So it's just a bunch of stamping. And then I sponged around the edge. For those of you that like sponging. And if Valerie is there watching, that was for you, Val. I also sponged around the outside of the inside. So I sponged twice last night. Eek! <laughs> Eek! Just so you know, one of the other colors that goes with that soft succulent and the evening evergreen is that mint macaron. Yes. I it's, can't believe how good it looks together. It's very pretty. It is. Okay, so I have I have on my table Blackberry Beauty, cardstock, and ephemera pack. I don't have the stamp set. But I have the I have the designer paper, I have the ephemera pack, and I have the ribbon too. I just have to go get it. I didn't get it out. And then I thought, well, I'll go on Pinterest and get like a fun fold or inspiration or something. And look what I found. Doesn't that look interesting? It does. So I was going to use the back of this for our voting, but the back of this has the uh, winners of the cards on it. So I can't <laughs> use that. I'll just leave that there because I wrote down her dimensions of what she did. So let me get a piece, a couple of pieces of paper. <laughs> yeah, don't flip that over, Mullet. That'll give everything away okay do fun fold this one oops 
I can't spell. Yes or no? Yes. You have a yes from Carmen. Yes. And a yes from Janet. Come on, peeps over there in Facebook. Do you want to make this fun fold or do you want to do something different? Yes, this fun fold or no? Nobody's voting. Do, 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 do. I need my. Okay, Shannon says sure. Shanna says yes. Okay, we're going to make that one. Jean says yes. Hey, it's overwhelming. Yes. Yahoo. Okay, so she used um she used i'll get the paper out and we'll see which paper we want to use now she used do i even have any of it left We'll see. There it is. I do believe that was the one. Yeah. So this is the one she used. That's pretty. And she used cinnamon cider. Ooh. So, oh, Sharon wants fun fold too. Okay. So do we want to use that or something else? Same ESP or different? So it'll it's still going to be um, Blackberry Beauty, but it will either be this pattern or a different pattern. I'm good with that pattern. Carmen says same. I'm kind of bringing them all out. Shanna says same. Jean says same. There's that one. And there's this one, but that one won't work because it can't be directional like that. Okay, Connie wants birds. So that would be, that would be this one. Shannon says different. So that's two for different, three for the same. Janet, do you have an opinion? Oh. Was it that one with the birds, Connie, or the this one with the birds? Birds or owls? Sorry, Janet. It's okay. I think we should go different. I like that one with the birds on it. That's really pretty. The bird one is good. The beige one, she says. The so that would one. be this one. Yeah. Not the owls, the birds. Oh, Shannon, I don't know which one was on top. Okay, well, it looks like it's going to be different because we have more than... Okay, so we'll have the beige birds or owls or other. So we've eliminated we've eliminated this one. Now beige birds owls 
pink background or blackberry background? The beige birds. Beige. One for beige birds. Sharon and Jean, you both said birds. So tell me beige birds or owls? Shannon says other. That's what we have. That's what we have to choose from. I'm going to say beige birds. Shannon wants blackberry background. Janet wants beige birds. Jean wants beige birds. Sharon wants beige birds. So owls are out. Shan Connie wants beige birds. Shanna wants birds. I'm assuming beige bird. Okay. These are the two that had votes. And beige birds it is, is the winner. Okay, let me get this put away. I don't want my crafter math to be too bad tonight. But I have a team thing tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. We're going to make, we're going to make three cards using sparkle of the season. Okay, that's going away. There we go. Okay, we have the birds. Okay, beige birds it is. Now, what color cardstock? Blackberry. Blackberry Bliss or Cinnamon Cider or Blackberry Bliss or Cinnamon. Now we're going to use white as well. I'll put the card here so you can see. There. Okay, just let me like Shanna so I know where the questions start and end because otherwise I get really confused. Bonnie wants cinnamon. Um, and I'll put an other category in there. Jean wants blackberry. Black Carmen, did you bliss. say blackberry? Yes, I did. Janet, you too? Blackberry bliss. Okay. We have one cinnamon and three blackberries. Oh, Jean wants blackberry. Looks like it's going to be blackberry bliss. Pokey pokey. Yep, Sharon wants blackberry cake. Okay. That didn't take too long tonight to come up with ideas. Let me get my blackberry. And I've already got the I've already got the white. So here's what they're going to look like together. Ooh, ah. Uh, Beautiful. Okay, so let me cut this uh, four and a quarter by five. Okay, there's the base of the card. And white, I need four by 10. There we are. And I have to score it. I love Blackberry Bliss too. It is my favorite color at the moment. 
Okay, scoring it at five if you're writing down instructions as we go. So that was four and a quarter by 10, scored at five. Fold it over. So that's going to go on there like that. Now, I have to cut two squares. Hang on. Okay, two squares, three and a half inches. And then we have to score them in the middle. Now, if you have your scoring board, you can use that. Um, I've lent mine to somebody because they needed a scoring board. So I'm just going to use my my score. I mean, they, I used my... Um, What's it called? Paper trimmer. If you have your paper trimmer, just put this in, put the two corners in the track and score, don't cut. But I don't have mine because somebody was in dire need. So I lent my paper trimmer out. So I'm just, I've got a, a line on my scoreboard at six so that I can do stuff like this. There we go. Oh, come on. Be nice. Have you guys watched um, Made on Netflix? I did. What an amazing show. And it's even more amazing because it takes place in Victoria and Salt Spring. It Lots was one of, of those... It's not the type of show I normally watch, but yet I couldn't stop watching it. I know. <laughs> the only thing that gets me is the swearing, but I understand because the type of people they're portraying, that's what they do. Yeah. But it's difficult to watch sometimes with all the swearing. Okay, so we have our card base and we have this, and then these are the two pieces that are going to do this part. line up like this. So the next question is, the designer paper goes back here. And she used the largest stitched rectangle. Well, she said the largest, but obviously it's not the largest. Must be the second to the largest. The second to the largest stitched rectangle. Now these rectangles are not the same dimensions as like a card base. So if we were to use it, if you look, it really looks nice die cut like that, but it doesn't go right over to the edges the same way it goes to the top and the bottom. So while I open my window because it's getting warm in here as usual, let me know, do you want me to use a dement the die or just cut this to size? Cut to size. Okay, hang on. I gotta open my window. Oh. Okay, got my paper out. Die, cut, or cut to size. Cut Jen to size. Cut to size. And Carmen wants cut to size. And Connie wants cut to size. Jean wants cut to size. Okay, we'll cut to size. Now, the next question is Do we want to put a layer underneath there? We could put a layer of. Blackberry Bliss 
here. Hang on. Hang on. Let me see if I can do the full effect here. You'll have to use your imagination. So we would have that. And then that. And then this. Or a different color. We, it doesn't have to be Blackberry Bliss. So do we want an extra layer? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Two yeses. I will go and get while well, the other ones are deciding. <laughs> okay. Not fond of the white layer. Oh. Connie, does that mean you want a different color instead of the white? Okay, Connie's proposing a different color instead of white. So while st still doing yes or no, do we want to use white or other for this part and the, the white at the back? Connie says other. See, there I was putting my other. Oh, apparently Jean doesn't like the other layer either. I mean the white layer. So Jean is an other and Janet is an other. Okay. So for other, what color? Cinnamon, cider, or hmm, Blackberry Bliss. That would be too much, but that's not my card. Um, or black. I'm just picking the colors out that are in the Cinnamon cider with texture on the on the uh, triangle pieces. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh! I like that one <laughs> with embossing, and then we have Carmen likes that too. Everybody wants other, so now I want to know. Um, Janet has suggested a cinnamon cider layer. Of course, I don't have a piece that's cut, so we'll have to fake it. We'll fake it. Okay, so we have Blackberry Bliss, Cinnamon Cider, see how I'm faking it, Cinnamon Cider, <laughs> and then a layer of this, and then do I have something that's squarish? I don't know. Then there'll be this going in. To both sides. Jean says the white is too white, it clashes with the beige. Okay, so this is the new proposed. I like the way you have it now. Okay, so we have two votes for this. Janet's suggestion of color. So if we do that, okay, good. So now I got to go cut a layer, a piece of cinnamon cider that is 
what was it? What was the white? I don't remember. Four by 10. Four by 10 scored in the middle. Put that away because I need it again. Oops. I get to go see my northern grandchildren on Sunday. Ooh. They're in Nanaimo. They're having oh. they're having a family emergency, but um oh, that's not we good. we are we are booked for a a park play date. Okay, so it'd be that and that and then this. Now I need three and a half. But, oh, oops. Too bad they're having a family emergency, but good to get to see them. Yes, I agree. And we get to see Jesse's new vehicle. She bought a Dodge Durango. Nice. And it's got in it, like it's got a bunch of bells and whistles, and it's got the bell and whistle in it that I want in my vehicle. It has heated steering wheel. I would love a heated steering wheel in my vehicle. My hands get so cold when I go out there. Oh. Ah. I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if I'd like them or not. I know I can't use the seat warmers much. <laughs> oh, I use mine all the time. I get them. I've, I get the seat just warm, and then I have to shut it, off, shut it off. It's too hot. Yep, well, that's what they're for. They're not for 100%. And that's what I want the heated steering wheel for because I have Raynaud's syndrome. If you, oops, hang on. You look at my hands, you can see the, the fingertips are redder than the, my fingers. That's Raynaud's syndrome. And it, that's, um, they go, when they go cold, they stay cold. They don't get warm. It's difficult. That would be good for you then. Yes, it would. Okay, so now I got to cut this. Now, what size was this one? I forget. Four by 10, four by five. So I need, okay, before I cut this, here's our, here's our color scheme. Let me put a piece of temporary tape on this so it holds it in place. There we go. And then we're going to have a piece of this on here. And then we're going to have our triangles. One, two. So there's our, there's our color scheme. Do we, do you want it like that? Thin, thick, or with another layer underneath. <laughs> Jean says she uses her heat warmer, seat warmer in the summer too. Heat on the, her back and air conditioning on her front. <laughs> okay, so I need to know, do we want to add an extra layer on there? This is the only other color in the paper. It's black. Do you want a layer or do you want no layer? No layer or layer? Layer. Layer. 
Where's my paper? Yes or no, got two, two yeses. And then you know, you know what the question is going to be. Thin or narrow or thin or thick wide. or thin. Okay, everybody wants layers. Okay, we'll go with layer. Now, thick or thin? I like how you had it there. Thick, thin, and thick, thick, and then a thin. Thin, yes. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Thick, flat, thick, 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 and thin. Yes. Thin, 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 thin. Oh, Sharon's going rogue. She's choosing thick. No. Thank you're outvoted, Sharon. Sorry. Okay. This is five by four, right? Is that what I said? Yes, four by five. So I need three and three quarters. No. no. Yeah, three and three quarters by four and three quarters. No. Does that sound right? Yes. No. I need three and three quarters by three and three quarters by four and three quarters. Yep. Try five. Sorry, what? Isn't it three and three quarters by five? This is five. It's cut down because of the size of the um these things are only three and a half and they have to go from top to bottom, so it's a bit smaller. Okay, a piece of piece of tape on there to hold that in position. There we go. Now, which way does this go? That way. So that is three and five eighths by four and five eighths. Okay, it's not cut straight. Let's try this again. That's better. Okay. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I love this paper. Oh, I should show you what I got to yes was it yesterday Let's see if i still have it there it is so my friend wendy is doing um 12 days of free pdfs and she did blackberry beauty two days ago let me see where did it go oh I guess I'm going to have to do it this way. Okay, so let me share my screen here so I can show you because it's really pretty. So she did this card. Ooh. Isn't that gorgeous? It is. And then she did this. So that's one of our acrylic boxes cut oh. in half with a liner and it's filled with wrapped nuggets. Cool. Isn't that pretty? And she wrapped the nuggets too. <laughs> yes, she did. I wish they'd sell those in Canada. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Well, you can get them online, but they cost a fortune. Yes. And unfortunately, I'm not going to the States to bring any back. No, me neither. Okay. So now we're going to put this goes on there like that. And this is going to go on there like that. Is that what you're wanting? Let's 
good to me. Because I'm going to start putting it together. All right. It is very pretty. I just, I love the color combinations in this paper. Oh, it is pretty. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. It's not straight. That's why it's coming back up. Thank goodness for stamp and seal and its removability. Okay, let's try this. That's not straight either. Uh-oh. Okay, what's not straight? Is it the black that's not straight or the designer paper that's not straight? Good question. Apparently it's the black that's not straight. Okay then. Jean says she was eating dark chocolate nuggets with almonds a little while ago, and they're yummy. Yeah. Well, Jean, you you know those bags you guys have at Walmart, the party pack of nuggets, the mixed ones, and it's like this big? It Last time I bought them down there, they were around $9 U.S., which is, what, about twelve fifty Canadian? In Canada, to order them off of eBay, they're $40. Just saying. I saw some the other day. It was $53 for 154 And then you had to pay something like $16 shipping. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Yes. Does anybody down there in the States want to go and buy us a, a bulk order and ship it up to us? <laughs> I don't think I'll be down there for a while now. Depends what the, sh the shipping is, though. Yeah. It's expensive. That's better. Apparently, it was all the blacks' fault. We'll just go with that. <laughs> if it's wrong, it's wrong. So now, do the triangles go on now onto the, onto the other cinnamon cider, or do they go on top? They go onto the other cinnamon cider. Okay. But we have to get this on first so we can fold it properly over top. Okay. Now, let's get the birds going the right way, Mollet. We need upside down birds. <laughs> We're having a wild, windy day. <laughs> did you see? I did, Just before I started, I was reading on, on the news on online that one one of the container ships heeled over like 30 degrees or something in the Strait of Georgia and dumped off a whole bunch of containers. So then, of course, I had to read it to find out where they were going because, God forbid, they'd be going into Los Angeles and have Stampin' Up! products on them. Yeah, really? But they were going into Vancouver, so we're safe. Now, when you fold these, you got to make sure that you get them lined up properly. So that they're nice and straight, regardless of where you've um, scored them. There we are. Okay, now, 
they're going to go on here like this. And they go from the top to the bottom of the cinnamon cider piece. And when she did it, I'm going to take my temporary tape off here. She used Tombow so that she could move it around a bit afterwards. Yes, creatively yours. That's the Wendy. It is. That's the Wendy I do my collaborations with. We did the penguin party. If you get on her email list, she every day she sends out a new one, but she also sends out the links to the previous ones. Okay, so now this goes on here. Just make sure you got it lined up at the top and the bottom. And I've got the fold. This is the edge of the cardstock here, and I've got the fold just beside it. $4.99 for a 10 ounce bag at grocery store, which is too much. When I go to Walmart or Target, I'm sure they will be less. Yes, they are. I have one part bag left. When we went. When we went to on stage in Orlando, what was that four years ago, I guess? Um, I took a trip to Walmart and got it filled my basket up with chocolate. And then I had to decide what clothes I was leaving behind because my suitcase was too heavy. So note to anyone who travels, always this is Karen, Karen Ferguson told me this tip long time ago. You take your oldest underwear and your oldest clothes. So if you have to leave stuff behind, you're leaving your oldest stuff behind, not your good stuff. One smart cookie, Karen. Okay. Hold that over. And there we go. There's the I got glue everywhere now. Okay, so it's like that. I'm going to have another question for you in a minute. I'm just going to score this really good before I put it onto the Blackberry part. Okay. Now you, she said the backside looked like an envelope, which it does because you've got your, your overlapping flaps there. And you're going to put adhesive on your envelope side. And then it's going to go on top of Blackberry Bliss. Whoops, down a little bit. Hello. That'll do. It's crooked. Man, my eyeballs aren't working. Oh, I know why I'm having such horrible times. I spent almost three hours in the kitchen this morning cooking. My poor body <laughs> has gone into revolt. What for you doing so long in the kitchen cooking? <laughs> well, I make I make these little egg cup muffin things with sausage and spinach and a little bit of onion and then pour um, whipped eggs on top of it and bake it for breakfast. So I had to make those, but I had to make two sets because Ted can't have the onion. So I have to make his and hers egg muffins. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we have a family member that is going through um, cancer treatments and I promised them some um, I make this chicken cream of turkey soup that is absolutely to die for if you're not on a diet <laughs> if you're on a diet oh my godfathers it's got heavy cream in it and 
turkey stock and turkey and ground carrots and else oh corn. It's really good and it it's got sage and thyme and bay leaves in it, so it really tastes like heartwarming. So that's what I was doing this morning. Okay, here's our card. Lovely. Isn't that cute? And I have to put a piece of white inside. Sorry, guys, but it's got to have a piece of white in there. Because, you know, there's nothing worse than making a, I don't think, making a card. So three and three quarters by. Mind you, that color isn't bad to write on. Yeah, but I still like I still like having my my yes. color in or my white one in there. Yeah. Okay. So that will go in there like that. I'm not going to put it in there yet, though, because we have to decorate it. So now the next question is, she has a belly band. Belly band or Velcro or a magnet. Belly band, Velcro, magnet. Or nothing. Belly bang, bang, bang. <laughs> belly, belly bang. Yeah. <laughs> belly band. Jean wants my recipe. I can do that because it's not really my recipe, but I can share it. I will. Hang on. As soon as I make myself a note, because you know I don't remember this. The only way I remember is if I write a note. Um, soup. Recipe. To v I P. I will do that. Okay. Belly band says Jean. Undecided says Connie. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a spot for undecided. <laughs> Belly band. And the egg one? Oh. And the egg one. Oh, yeah, the egg one sounds really good. It is. And it's really good if you're trying to stay away from carbs at breakfast. My, my doctor um, says to me yesterday, oh, I got it. Did I tell you last night what he said to me? <laughs> so funny. Mm -hmm. Anyways, he said, he looked at Ted and I and he said, well, you know what my thoughts are? The best thing you can eat for breakfast is an egg. All right, so Shannon wants a belly band. Yes, that's that's what I'm like Velcro or or no. Oh Janet, I didn't emboss that. No, you didn't. Oh right. Oh, no. We're gonna have to put a layer on there now. We're gonna have to put a layer on there. That's gonna be a whole other color decision. Blackberry. A blackberry layer? Yeah. Well, we got to find a piece of blackberry to put on there so we can have a look. Like an easel card that you put something on the left side and lock. Oh, you mean like a, like a one of these? sort of things so that you can just slide it under there like that. I see. Like a sentiment or a or a something. Yes, I got it now. I got it, Connie. Sometimes you gotta hit me over the side of the head with a two by four, but I get it. Okay. So Janet wanted embossing and I didn't emboss it. So do we want to put a cinnamon cider layer? Wait, 
Wait. I'm trying to dig a piece out. Do do we want to put a blackberry bliss layer, a cinnamon cider layer, or leave it? Blackberry. Connie likes blackberry, so that's two for blackberry. Blackberry. Three for blackberry. Oof. All right. Nobody else is commenting, so I guess we'll go with Blackberry. Because you know what my thoughts are, right? Doesn't matter what my thoughts are. And then when we make this, Glenda's going to pay for the for the postage. <laughs> yeah, it's going to weigh about a pound and a half. <laughs> and no kidding. <laughs> But you know, when you send out a card like this to someone special, they need, they deserve to have a card like this, right? That's true. Okay, so that was three and a half by three and a half. So if I make, do you want a thin layer or a thick layer? You want thin layer or a thick? Oh, I know what my, I know what my choice is, but. Thin. Thick. One thick, one thin. One thick, one thin. We need a tiebreaker. Thickish. <laughs> Connie says thickish. How can I do thickish? <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> okay. Hang on. I'm coming. Hope I get this cut right. Let's see if I got it cut. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's pretty darn close to being equal. Between thick and thin. Oh, Lord God. <laughs> ah, I cut it thin. If you don't like it, I can cut it thick. Whoops. So there's th thin. Because then we're have to decide if we want that there or if we want that there. Okay, so there's thin. There's thin. And here's thick. There's thick and thin. I think I like thin now. Yes, it will shrink a bit, Connie. You're right. So then we'll have the thickish one, right? Or we'll have thinnish. Will it be thickish or will it be thinnish? <laughs> okay. Janet says thin. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Connie says emboss it and see what it looks like. All right. So what are we embossing it with? And don't say subtle because I don't have subtle. I have te tasteful textile. Tasteful textile. Okay. That works. And I got a new one. So it's working properly. Wait, my nose. I got to blow my nose. Hang on. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> so the doctor says to me, in 20 years, when you turn 65, it is suggested that you get a second pneumonia shot. <laughs> I looked at him, I said, 20 years? I'm only 23. That's 40 years. 
Poor guy, he never knows. Oh, oh. Yep, just throw the stuff on the floor, Carmen. Sure. Go ahead. Oh. All right. Put a little bit of temporary tape on there. Like that. And like that. Yeah. That. And oh, wait. Got to make sure I have the same side. There we are. Didn't shrink it much. Shrunk it the other way. Okay, let me see if I can get it to focus there. How's that? It's nice, but could we have some uh, of the cinnamon cider on the long edge? At this the edge? edge? Yeah. yeah. That would be the next question. Do you want it right to the edge or do you want it backed off a bit? Like that. Like that. Like that. Backed off. Backed off, backed off, or flush. Backed off or flush. Can't see my stupid computer is telling me I have emails. I know I have emails, but I want to hear see the comments. Okay, we have two two votes for backed off. So I'm assuming, oh yes, Jean says backed off. Okay, so now I will go and cut this. We can't make this too early at night. You can't make it what? Too early at night. <laughs> We're not done yet. No, we're not. We still have an inside and an envelope and we have the sentiment and that locking mechanism thing that Connie was talking about. Okay, there's one side. There's the other side. Okay, let's put that on. Get my silicone mat. Make sure I have the two of the same sides together. When you do this, you want to make sure you get your adhesive right into the very corners of these triangles or you end up with lifties. Lifties are never good. There's that one. La, 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 la. Ah. Be back my fingerprint. Here we are. Now, where's my ephemera pack? 
It's in this mess somewhere. What did I do with it? Oh, you have it. Ah, uh, no. Good Lord, lightning. Where the heck did it go? I wonder if I picked it up with the designer paper. Yep, there it is. I think I have one of those acorny things left like she used. So I'll get it out and then you can vote yes or no. Okay, so she's got it. How does she have it? This way. Yes, pretty. And then a uh, thingy. There's so many cool pieces to this thing. Oh, I need one of those. Okay. So we have this. And then we can have that one is too big. Oh, no, I can't say that. Sorry. That would be your decision. <laughs> Not my decision. Hey, okay. really? Yeah. Okay, that one or this one somehow. We could even cut that down, cut it in half. Cut it there, cut it there, and have a little sentiment there. Or there's a brown one, or there's a gold one, or just a piece of cardstock. There's the brown one. There's the brown one. There's the gold one. So the first one you put on, could you put that on again? The big one? Yeah. Yep. I like that one, but could we make it shorter? Oh no, we can't cut anything. That's absolutely <laughs> impossible. <laughs> Okay, Carmen wants this one cut off so it's not quite so long. Is everybody good with that or do we want something else? So are we going to make it so that one side tucks under that? Yes, so it that my thoughts are um, that it will be solid on this one. Yes on this this side and then this will just tuck in here like that like a buckle card oh that's that's my thoughts connie's good with it that's a good one jean is good i with like that <laughs> so which side are you going to cut off the cut the side with the dot with the hole in it don't ask me that would be up to you okay next next question Flat side or holy side? Holy side. Uh, no, 
not cutting off am I using? The holy side? Oh! Or am I using the flat side? Use the flat side. Use the flat side. Left side of the tag, holy side, cut it. There we go. That's Connie's. Holy side, cut. Janet says holy side, cut. Now, we could also do it on top. Because what she's done is this. No. Nope. Nope. Underneath. OK. Underneath. I've been told. What are we going to put on this, though? Nothing? Just leave that like that? gemstones on top. Okay, let me cut this off. I'm just going to measure and see where I need to cut it off. Cut off, wait, wrong side. Cut it at three and a quarter and see what happens. Okay. That there, and this there. May need to decide on a sentiment first. Oh, Connie, you're being so, so smart. <laughs> I have that lots of, I have lots of sentiments. Okay, so now we need to decide. Let me get one other piece of paper here. On the sentiment, happy birthday, thank you, hello, oh, it's another one, okay, happy birthday, thank you, hello. Happy I can't... birthday. One for happy birthday. I have to like this comment, <coughs> excuse me, so I know where to start. Happy birthday, thank you, hello, or something else. <coughs> Jean wants hello. I got to have tea. If you use hello, it can be used for just about anything. It could. Well, not quite, but a lot of things. Um, Sharon said happy birthday. Connie said hello or get well. Mm. Let me see something. Look at this. Is it too oh, there? <laughs> Hello is that, there. Is that going to be uh, too long? short enough? Oh, you can cut them. This is another one I got. This is. Um, what we're going to use it backstage. That's beautiful. Or on stage. Isn't that pretty? I don't know whether I'm supposed to be showing that to you or not, but anyways, you saw it. We didn't see anything. <laughs> this hello there might be a little bit too big. Let go. If I make it that way, take this out to the very end. No. Nope. Darn, it's going to be too, too long. It's pretty, though. I can't wait to use this one. This is the one that will be available in on November the 2nd to order in the new catalog. I could use just the hello, but ah, 
I don't like doing that. Let me get my hello. I have some hellos. Because, you know, I put all mine in a in a container by itself. Okay. Um, I have, I have this hello. It'll be about like this. That's nice. Comfort zone. <laughs> Yes, Connie, you're right. If you want me to use just that hello, I will get out of my comfort zone. And I would will use just the hello. I don't want to. It's okay. It's not me. And thank you for reminding me of that. What else have we got in here? Something that's big enough to show up. There's a few of them, but I think they're... Most of them are too small. So there's that one, but that's too small. It won't look good on there, right? I like the font of the hello there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to talk you out of it. You know that, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> there's hello, sweet friend. But maybe they're not a friend. Maybe they're not sweet. <laughs> and then there's hello. That hello. Okay, you guys can't see that. There's that hello. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, I got to put these back in so that they don't interfere with each other. Otherwise, they'll squish. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I know it's your card. I know. Okay, so here's the card. We're going to have this on there. That's as far over as I can get it. This is going to slide underneath there. So we have hello without the there. Or hello. Jean says mask off and do just the hello. I got to go get a block anyways. Hang on. Okay. Connie says hello there. Yeah, I think I would go with that one too. Sorry. Oh. Well, you're not my favorite anymore, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> I said put... I was sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Favorite, please, please. <laughs> yes, I'll put you back in the favorite zone. Apparently, this one got mushed. That's not good. Okay. Blackberry Bliss Ink. Yes. Not that I want to tell you what to do. It's just a suggestion. I could cut that. Where's my tape? Mask it, I masked it, I masked it, Connie. I did, I did.
Mask off. Put that. Put this. I just need, I just want to see how far over the hollow needs to go. Okay. Right about there. Please pray that it's straight. I'm afraid to take the block off. <laughs> Oh, look at it. It worked. Oh. Not bad. Okay, I have a confession. That's the first time I've done that. Usually I just cut the stamp in half. Okay, so I'm thinking, and tell me if this is all right, flat on this side and raised on that side, this will be raised so that there's a pocket to put the flap under. Sounds good to me. Okay, so this needs to go on first. So let's just put this here. Is it all right this way? No. Slide that under. Ah! Oh. oh no! Look, <laughs> apparently that doesn't dry. Sugar Why shack. Did you wonder that it would. Cover Pardon? It? Sorry. Can you slide it far enough under that it would cover it? No. No, darn. Connie says gems. I have butterflies too. Butterflies work. I mean, um, bees. Are those bees? What are they? Bumblebees. It's just going to be what it is. So if you use, if you stamp on these labels that are in the ephemera pack, be careful. Are they a shiny material, paper? Yes. Oh. Okay, now got to put adhesive on this. Maybe we don't want to put anything on the front. God darn it. Still wet. I'll be right back. I'm going to heat it. I would use the other one, but I've already used it. So it's not there anymore. Okay, is that straight? Nope. How's that? Good. Put an acorn there. I don't have acorns. I don't, you mean the little acorny things or? They don't have acorns in here. And I don't, those little acorny things we had, they're long gone and I didn't have any anyways. What about an extra leaf? Is there a leaf you could cut yeah. out and tuck in there? It would have to be gold. Hmm. And I'm not sure I like that sticking up. Do you guys like that sticking up? Oh, no. Okay, let's see what we have in here. 
that one's too big. And that one's too big and that one's too big. That one's too big. There's a little one. That's too big. Oh, there is another one. There must be three sheets in here. See, I don't, I, if I put to put something on there, I don't really like it. Even if I stuck it underneath. Like that, or shall I stamp another one? Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not great either. I like it much better without it, but then it's not my decision. Because it's really smudged. Everybody's rolling their eyes. I can hear you roll your eyes. It's only 9.30. It does not look fine. <laughs> Gina doesn't. It looks horrible. I don't like how that's sticking up either, like you said. No. I'm thinking a belly band would be better there. This is one of those cards that is going to have trouble standing up too. It's 1130. Well, it's only 930 here, Jean. Okay. I could put a, I could put a, um, a magnet in there and you'd never know. While I'm stamping another one of these and then heat setting it so it doesn't go everywhere, decide whether you want to leave it like that or if we if you want to put something to hold it closed. Connie, I don't think even a bird is going to change that horrible. It's just, it's too shiny paper and it takes a while to, to dry. So I'm going to heat set it. Okay, I'm going to heat set it. I'll be right back.
I'm afraid to touch it now. I still blame you. Okay. Are we leaving it belly band or um what's that thing called? Magnet. Something that holds it. Okay, where's my cinnamon cider? Let me get a strip out and we'll have a look at what it looks like with a strip underneath there. So there's what it would look like with the belly band. That actually looks quite good. I actually like I like that. Connie says magnet. I like the belly band. I think that looks cute. But let's let me put a I never know what, I never know what sides go together. So if I put one underneath that one and then put one underneath that one. We could still put this strip of thingy on there. This is still going to stick out, though, because of the, the thickness of that magnet. Connie says the gold gets lost on the cinnamon. True. It may on, on, the, on a picture, but it doesn't in real life. Magnet under the label. Okay, so that would be magnet over there. This on here. And then it would stick there. Then I'd have to put a backing under on the back of the label to cover up the magnet. Okay, final choice, magnet or belly band? Magnet. Belly band. One of each. Kay over there in Facebook, magnet or belly band? Magnet. Connie wants magnet. Is there anybody left over there in Facebook? Jean wants belly band. Sh Shannon wants belly band. Sharon wants magnet. <laughs> this is not working. We got three to three. That's what happens when there's an even number of people watching. <laughs> Well, I guess that means you make the decision. Yep. I don't want to make the decision. Well, both look okay. Yes, they do. How about a belly band with a magnet? Go belly band, it's easier. Connie says flip a coin. That's a good idea. Okay. This one, this side, it's belly band. 
So that's the one with a head on it. And this side with the polar bear will be magnet. Okay. Does that work? Go for it. Yep. I'm going to shake it all up. It's the head. That would be a belly band. It's the head. That would be a belly band. Okay, I'm gonna put the magnets away before I get lo lose them. Oops. Get in your own house. No visiting, it's COVID. Social distancing. Okay, now I'm going to need a belly band. That is nine and a half inches. Is that a good size? Yep, I think so. That would be an inch. That would be an inch. Okay, put it on and back it off a bit, and then do the other side. So the weather is supposed to be horrible tomorrow. Well, good thing we have that. Yes, there's uh, some kind of a storm system coming in. They got new names for all these storm systems. I never know what they are anymore. Okay, you know, we still haven't done the inside. <laughs> Just saying. One belly band. This is going to go on here like that and of course I have adhesive where I can't have it. well I guess it, no it can't I can't can't have adhesive out past the edge of the belly band how am I going to get that off eraser First of all, I'm going to cut this off. Maybe. If I can get my scissors underneath there. Come on. Oh, you. There we go. Just so it doesn't poke out there. Oops. Let's try not to destroy the tag while we're at it. Good idea, Janet. Some very nice person gave me one and it works really well. <laughs> They're really cheap too. Ah. 
my aerobic workout for the day. <laughs> that and all that cooking this morning. Holy man. I was expecting Ted to help me, and he decided he needed to go down to the train. That was the end of him helping me. <laughs> okay, that's gone. That is okay. And that's gone. Good. Okay. We're set to go now. Put adhesive on this. That. Oh, let's put it on the card. Um, see which way is the up way and which one is the down way. Perfect. I have glue all over my fingers. <laughs> there we are. That's pretty. Very pretty. I like it. I'm winking. Yay! Eat some winky on the berries. Well, not berries, acorns. Okay, now we have to do the inside. Because we haven't done that yet. In here. Do you want to stamp? And I have this here, so we could use something like that. Or we could use gold pieces on the inside. Yeah. I have that one. We'd have to cut this off a bit, though. That off a bit to fit in there. So that's number one. Jean, you did an amazing job, you guys. There's number one. There's number two. I think this one is too big. I don't think that one's going to work. That one's too big. Number one or number two or stamp? Where's Whoops. that little one you cut the piece from? The little one I cut the piece from. Oh, here it is. little itty bitty or there's some gold ones there's this gold one or that gold one one two three four five three with some little dots stamped on oh you know me and my dots Love dots. Connie says three. Three. Janet says three. I don't like wasting. <laughs> it wasn't wasted. It was going back in my in my kit. Yeah, Wouldn't be wasted. Fine. Just like that itty bitty. There you go. Okay. This is going away. Am I doing it in Blackberry, Blackberry the dots in Blackberry Bliss or stamped off cinnamon cider? Stamped off Blackberry Bliss. Stamped off Blackberry Bliss. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I have to go, I have to go get Forever Fern because I like those dots. Forever. 
Maybe. There you are. These are nice little dots. See the extra pieces from that card? I stick stuck them in here. Just in case I want to make another forever fern card. They're already done. Connie says both. Stamped off cinnamon cider and stamped off blackberry bliss. That would be okay. Yes, it would be. Just had to make that straight so that it fits on there like that. Okay. I'm going to do the dots and then I'm going to put this thing over top because I don't want to put that on there and then you guys decide that you don't like the very colored dot. Because then I will have ruined it. Right? I guess temporary tape would work. Let's just stick a hunk of temporary tape on there. Yeah, but you don't want to step, stamp on the gold. I won't. Okay. I'll but go you, around it. If you take it off, you don't have to worry where you stamp. Okay. And you can have some dots underneath it. Oh my God, you guys taking me so far outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> Now I have to do the other side because the tape's stuck there. Okay. Stamped off cinnamon cider. One, one, one. There's that. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Jean says, get over it. <laughs> oh, God. God help me. That's all I have to say. God help me. Good. Okay. I got to put Tombow on this to hold it on. You guys are so mean to me on Friday night. Something you got to remember, the rest of us probably wouldn't have done this card like this either by ourselves. That's right. I know. <laughs> That's the coolest part. The collaboration where we get to, get to create a card together that none of us individually would have done. And yet we'll make it now. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, technically not for me because I don't have that paper, but. I do like it. I think it's, um, I don't think it's available right now either. There we go. That is gorgeous. Love Thank it. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I take no responsibility for this card other than the idea for the fold. Okay, come here little thing. We'll put your innards in. Whoops. Come on. Ta-da! Then that goes there, and that goes there, and this goes here. I now, envelope, should we do a regular envelope, or shall we make one out of designer paper? That's a special card, so it needs designer paper. Might as well go whole hog. Sure. <laughs> Okay, 
just be hanging on for a sec because I don't have a desk left here. It's all covered up with stuff. And I'm just trying so hard to remain organized. Are we doing this designer paper? Wow. I agree, Jane. Did you an envelope that would go with this, your card? Pardon me? The other day, when you were camping and made up a whole bunch of envelopes, would any oh. of those go with that? Well, let's see. We have green, no. red, <laughs> green, <laughs> red, <laughs> green, no. red striped. No. Red striped, green, red striped, red striped, black and white, black and white. That one might work if we sponge some color onto it. Yeah. Dots. There's that one. There's stripes. Or a penguin. No. <laughs> you don't want lovely, penguin. but no. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, black and white or designer paper? Designer paper, black and white. Black and white sponged. Black and white, black and white. Jean says none of them. <laughs> Do I have to put my foot up there? Honey says DSP. So, Jean, if you don't want any of them, what do you want me to use? Jean says designer paper. Okay, but you don't want this designer paper. You want another designer paper. What other designer paper would go with this? Designer paper, no to all the other envelopes you made before. Oh, oh, this designer paper. After I brought back all my other designer paper. Okay, then. Let me go put them back. I noticed that Glenn has about three inches of designer paper. I bought like two feet. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> All right. Let's see what I got in here that we can make an envelope out of. There's this one that has a Blackberry Bliss background. That's the same one. That one would not work. And oh, this one has um, it's a pinky background on that one. No, the Blackberry designer paper is too beautiful to use anything else. I agree. There's this one. This is the Blackberry Bliss background. Backsides? 
<gasps> no, say it's not so. This is orange on the back, orange and brown. This one is orange and brown. I don't know why they put orange on the back of these. I think it's supposed to be cinnamon cider, but it looks orange to me. And I don't, that drives my eyeballs backwards. This looks like lightning strikes. There's this one with this on the back of it. And there's this one. It's got the same acorny pattern on it. And this is on the back of it. So we have four to choose from. That one. You can't use those for an envelope. You just can't. That one, that one, or that one. One, two, three, or four. You can't see one. There we go. None of them. <laughs> Why? They're too pretty. Yeah, they're but just I too pretty. I have a whole other package. It's not an issue. So go with a white or a cream envelope and stamp. <laughs> okay, then. I, I don't, I can't use those for an envelope. They're just so <laughs> too beautiful. <laughs> oh, you're funny. My my choice, the one that I think goes the best with it, is this one. Yeah. I, yes, it does. That, I hope I have some more envelopes on, on order. Oh, Connie says the one with the acorns. That one. Vanilla envelope and stamped. Okay, the issue with using vanilla envelope is we've used white. Well, we use these which have white around them. So, and we've put white on the inside. Mm. So if you want a stamped envelope, my suggestion would be white because it goes with white, but. Okay, get the pencil out. D, S, P, or plain? Plain white. Plain white. That's it, we have one vote. I said plain too. Okay. Okay, over there in Facebook. Designer paper or plain? We'll worry about the color or the pattern in a minute. Oh, Jean says white stamped with DSP on the flap. Yeah. So that's hers. Sharon wants white. Shannon wants designer paper. I like, I don't have a vote. Never mind. I won't finish my sentence. <laughs> Plain white with a designer paper on the back, on the flap. Yeah. Works for me. Okay. Is everybody okay with that? Plain white with designer paper on the back? Because we have, we have enough to put, oh, it's not wide enough. Shoot, it's not wide enough. That's okay, make it just a smidgen smaller. No, look funny. No. Yeah. It'll be it just framed good. by the white. Would look funny, it's funny, honey. And I don't think this one is wide enough. And it's going the other way too. OK, 
Okay, do you want to do you want to match the designer paper or do you want to contrast the designer paper? Stamp a small image on front left corner. Yes, we'll stamp as well, Jean. Yeah, I agree. All right, what I got in here that's cut that would work. Maybe this acorning one is big enough. Nope, that's not wide enough either. Either. Connie says contrast. Could do that one. Or any of the other ones. Except, I don't know whether I still got that because I used it for a card. So let me check in my other my other one here i don't remember what card it was but i know i cut it oh i do i do so same or contrast connie says contrast 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 Okay, that one or the acorny one? I know this one isn't big enough, but I've got another piece. Which one? One or two? One or two? Two. Two. Oh, Jean says same, but we had Carmen. I know Janet was a contrast. Carmen, what was yours? Contrast or the same? Uh, contrast. Okay. So we have three contrasts. Leafy one, number two. Okay, number we got. Fine. Pardon me? Number two is fine. That one. I like that one. It really goes well with that. That's this one is a little too busy, I think. Not that it's my opinion that counts, but you know. Okay, now I have to figure out how wide this has to be. This has to be six by six by two and a half. Two and an arf. That out of the way. I forget about doing this. It is very pretty. Okay, so what are we putting on the front? We can use this one that I've got here or something else. because I don't have the stamp set that goes with Blackberry Bliss or Blackberry Beauty. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Oh. Oh. OK. 
okay, ha ha, okay. Or do you want to put one of the ephemera things on there? Hello, anybody awake? I'd sure like to know what those weird noises are that happen in our gully at night. The bear is walking through. <laughs> well, it's uh, like a, a, some kind of a screeching call and it doesn't sound like an owl to me. Uh-oh. That was fireworks. Okay, so I got another one of those. Yes, I do want the post office to dislike you. Not only am I putting... Um, stuff on my envelope, but it's shiny. It's going to set their machines off. <laughs> uh, I was, um, I had a box to go out today and I was lucky. I caught the mailman. It, I print my, I printed the, the thing online. So it was all paid for. I just had to drop it off. And I, I managed to grab him as he was in my driveway and asked him to take it to the post office for me so I didn't even have to go up there today to mail it. <laughs> you want that one on there? Yep. Or Jean, no, not that one. Jean said one of the small stamped images on the stamp set. The one in the middle with the little dots. That one? That one. Yep. Could do a couple of those. Blackberry Bliss or Cinnamon Cider? One of each. Uh, no, because then I have to clean the ink, the stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Could you Blackberry Bliss and then put some more Cinnamon Cider dots around it? That would be pretty. I'll stamp one and then you could have a look and see what it looks like. Because I haven't, I only just got this in a couple of days ago and I finished putting the labels on today. I haven't even inked it up yet. Ooh, I like that. Oh, me too. So if I do it in Blackberry Bliss, will I get yelled at? Nope. I like those dots on there. Mm -hmm. You guys made a really pretty card. Jean agrees with me, Blackberry Bliss. Okay, now I can stamp some dots around it if you want or just leave it i think with the dots already on there just leave it carmen says leave it leave it leave it says janet i think it's absolutely stunning I actually like this card that's going to come out nasty, but I like this one better than the other one. Yeah, well, this one is really pretty. It's just my printer made it look really orange. I, it's not the orange. I think it's the white. It's so stupid. Yes, I agree. Oh, okay. I don't think it's, I think the card itself is nice. I, I just, I think the white is too stark. Okay, I agree with you. Even if they've done some stamping on the white, 
or embossed it or embossed it i'm putting more winky on just so I'm you know putting her tongue yeah. out. <laughs> looks good <laughs> the card is done the winky is on there oh look at that bling on that card nice card oh ladies you did a wonderful job Whew, i can breathe now <laughs> as you know Lovely. it's all about taking me outside my comfort zone and that did that did do we need a bling or two on the sentiment no Have one no. Looks good. So one, two, three. Yes or no? We have one no. This is the yes. This is the no. Have one no. Yes. Yes. Jean says no. Carmen's paying the postage. <laughs> Connie says no. <laughs> I would hand it to somebody. I would not mail this one. <laughs> I agree. I agree, Carmen. Oh, you guys. It's only a dollar ninety-two. Okay, I am not pushing them on. I'm just suggesting. It will look gorgeous. And it's not gonna stand up any more than that is because these champagne rhinestones are nice and small. That's very pretty. So have I changed the nose to a yes? Or am I taking them off again? Oh, I'm getting hearts from somebody. Bling always looks good. Nobody in Facebook is commenting. Oh, Jean says yes. I'll share it with you again. Sharon says yes. I can't get over how gorgeous this card is. Even with all my screw ups for the cutting. This didn't get cut quite properly, but that's okay. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. Gorgeous. Uh -huh. That's always fun to get a card that opens funky. I like that card. That is so pretty. And I think it was a good decision to put the belly band on it. Because I like the I like the contrast of that cinnamon cider under the sentiment. It is very elegant, Jean. I agree. Shannon said yes to the bling. Good thing I pushed it on already. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, I would have added it afterwards anyways, right? <laughs> I'm so bad. All right. Well, we're done. Oh my gosh, it's 20 after 10 already. I'm sorry, Jean, you must be dead. Jean's two hours ahead of us. Oh my. Connie, I think Connie's the same time. She's in Nevada. I think she's the same time as us. Nevada is the same time as we are. Yeah. But Jean, Jean is in North Dakota, so she's far, far away. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, oops, better put this one back before I lose it. Let's do that. All right, ladies. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me for two and a half hours. Thank you very much. That was great. And a very, very pretty card. Oh, there, my desk is cleaned off. 
Oh, lucky you. Do you want to come and do mine? <laughs> no. My crafter math is going to take a while to clean up. I'm not even working in my craft room right now because I pulled a bunch of stuff out and that's where it stayed. Oh. Well, I said to Ted today, we got to back the truck up to the back door and all the stuff that I've been accumulating in the spare room from that's come out of my craft room has to go to the Salvation Army or the attic or something, whoever is accepting. Because it's getting to the point I can't get in my spare room anymore. But it's it's just plastic containers and boxes and stuff like that. You're very welcome, Shannon. I'm glad you could hang out with us. Okay, I'm going because I got to clean up. And tomorrow at one, I have my team event. So those of you that are on my team, I will see you then. The um, there's a Zoom link went out earlier today. Thanks for hanging out with me, and, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. We'll catch you all on Monday at 8 o'clock for some kind of stamping of something, I'm sure. Good night, everybody. Good night. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now. <laughs>